Today in this 2015 Volkswagen Passat, we're going to show you the Glacier Cable Snow Tire Change, part number PW1038. Now for reference, we're working with a tire size today of 215 by 55 by R17. A couple details about our snow change is that it's actually constructed from an all cable. It actually is a very low profile on the tire, so it's good for vehicles with limited clearance between uh, the tire and the fender well and maybe suspension components as well. Now the construction of a cable is a case hardened low carbon steel and the spring rollers are wrapped around sturdy wire cross cables as well and they'll move around and dig as needed in the snow. Now the idea behind these guys is that it's great to get you out of a jam. So if you're on a highway somewhere and the snow piles up and it's getting harder to get around, it's a good idea to put these on until you get to a better section of highway. Okay. First off, it's always a good idea to do a practice run like what we're doing here with our snow chains before we actually need them. Now, so now we'll go ahead and start off by making sure we have the right side facing the tire. Easiest way to tell is that this hook right here, how it comes up and around, that always faces the ice and snow. Now, at the very ends of a chain, it has the end of a cable here with these stops or notches. Both of these typically go towards the back of a vehicle when you first lay it on the tire. All right, let's go ahead and put it on our tire. All right, what I like to do is just drape it over a tire first. Make sure you get these crossbars even as possible across the top of the tire. And also make sure you're not hung up with anything behind the tire and wheel, like the suspension components. And then, you may have to rotate a little bit, but I like to take the, the ends and tuck them in front and behind a tire. Now it's tempting to do the outside first, but you actually want to do the inside. So let's go ahead and get underneath there and go ahead and make our connection. It's a little bit easier to do it when we're on a ramp here or a lift, but you could also turn your tire one way or the other since it's a front wheel drive vehicle, make it easier to get access to it. But all that happens is you take up your slack between the two ends, you run the cable, through the catch, and just take up the slack. Okay. You want to make a note of what's, how many stops you're using. In this case, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, our excess will go through this clip right here. And I'll keep it under control as the tire rotates. All right, let's do this one more time on the outside of the tire. Now, remember we used five stops on the inside. Now we can use that same number on the outside here plus one or minus one. Anything more than that, then we probably have to readjust it on the inside. Let's go ahead and put it together. It looks like we can use number four. All right, we'll go ahead and put the excess into our clip. And our snow chain is installed. However, a lot of times you'll still end up with a little bit of a loose fit here. So in that case, you can go ahead and use a tensioner to help it out. Now this part number is PW105. Basically, it has six points of contact. You just want to try to keep it as even as possible on your snow chain. And when you install these guys, you want to make sure the hooks face away from your tire. So that way it doesn't dig into it. And as you can see here, it actually adds a lot of tension to it and gives a much more snug fit against the tire than what you want. And I'll finish it for the Glacier Tire Chains for our 2015 Volkswagen Passat.